So one thing that was very unique about this year was the amount of rainfall we've had in our area. And, and with that, um, it can cause some very interesting situations. And, and this field's actually showing it this year. And what that is, is our dry land on this field is greener or almost has a better stay green than our irrigated crops. Now, some of that could be because the dry land had to go through some stress. So the plant was shut down and the stuff that was under pivot irrigation was able to grow all of its gr uh, growing degree days. So I I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but one thing I think about a lot, definitely in irrigated country, when we get wet years like this and our dry land uh, is staying green longer, one thing that a person should check is what's going on with the water. You know, is, is there something within our irrigation water that is holding us back? I'm not saying that's every time, but it's something to check, you know, for less than $50 for a test to see where our bicarbonates are. Or um, if we're on surface water, you know, doing, doing soil samples to see how low um, our calcium levels go because it's stripping that nutrient. Um, in season checks to see what our irrigation water is doing to our crops. Um, every time we put on an inch of water, you know, you do that, let's just say you do that twice a, twice a week during peak irrigation season, our soil turns into our water. So that could be something that's going to happen here. I mean, we'll probably go out there and do some tests to see if there's significant differences. But, you know, with the drone footage that we got here, it was very obvious that our dry land corners were significantly more green than what's in the irrigated, like I said. It could be because the dry land actually went through some stress, slowed it down, the irrigated did not, or it could even be just a lower population influenced the genetics slightly different. Um, but when I see that, you know, if that's on climate, if that's with a drone, the first thing I start looking into is what is in our water.